Hey everybody, welcome back to the Slime Fun Tips and Tricks episode. I'm your host, Boomer, and today I want to show you something to help you advance faster in Supreme by highlighting a common mistake that most players make. So let me switch views here. What you're seeing is my storage in my survival server for all of my Supremes and the cores. Now, normally, what do we do? We generally don't start with something as small as a greedy block that holds 64. We'll either use a chest, uh, a small quantum storage, maybe we're using infinity expansions. Here's the problem with doing that, either using quantums or the infinity expandage or even the fluffy machines. To an extent, the small adjustable fluffy machine could be a benefit. But here's what happens. You've got nine different cores, or excuse me, nine different Supremes making the core. Let's use Core of Life, for example, okay? So if you notice something, these are all the different crops you can grow. All nine of them <clears throat> require 96 honey bottles per Supreme times nine. Okay, so that's 864, I believe, times 64 which I don't know what that is, but it's well over 50,000. Now think about this. To make the core, all nine Supremes have to be being created at the same time, 64 of them. All right, if you don't have or cannot keep up with the production of 96 honey bottles per Supreme times nine, right, at the rate it makes it, which is about 25 seconds, maybe even less, if you run out of honey bottles, here's what Networks is going to do. Let me come in here and let's go and visit where I happen to have my four machines. This is probably not a good one here. Let's pull one of those that have honey. Here we go. Okay. So let's say I run out of honey bottles. You're thinking Networks is automatically evenly going to distribute it, and that's not the case. It only does that if you have adequate supply. So as long as I'm producing, I have to be producing over 864 honey bottles in the time it takes for this machine to cycle, which actually is about 15 seconds. 864 honey bottles in 15 seconds. That's crazy, right? No matter, you need a, an insane amount of tech gens to do that. So what here's what happens to most of us then, is that networks, all nine pushers will be calling for honey, but not all of them are going to get it, and they're not going to be evenly distributed. Whichever pusher wins first is going to get the first 64. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it's the one that's placed first, if it's the one that's closest to the controller, if it's the one closest to the storage unit. Ultimately, what will happen is one or two of them will get the bulk of the honey, and the rest won't. As a matter of fact, we can even show you what happened when I had these going in that you see I have quite a few varying amounts here of the different Supremes. And actually it was even wider, um, but now they're starting to catch up, right? And the other ones are still being made. So if I run Quantum once, they hold 4,000 items, 4,096 to get technical. If that's the case, what will happen is all of those honey bottles will go to one or two items and they'll fill up to I have 4,096 Supremes. Then it'll start going to other ones. By using a greedy block instead of quantum or infinity expansion, which is 6,000, it only goes to 64 and then stops. What that advantage gives you is you don't have to wait for each one to hit 4,096 honey bottles on the first eight, and then a ninth one comes along to make your first Supreme or your first core. If you don't have the supply, you want to have your storage of Supremes as low as a number as you can possibly get because you already need 64 in here. So by the time that balances out, this is why Greedy Blocks work so great. There will always be one item that will be the last one to fill. 
no matter what, no matter how you lay out your base, one will always be the last one to get filled up. And so the other eight will have varying amounts anywhere from one to 64. But when it hits 64, it stops producing. And that sends the honey bottles back to the other eight to help speed up the process. In other words, you're going to get cores much faster versus having to wait for a quantum one or worse, you use a quantum two at 32,000, you'll never get a core. All right, so ultimately the tip is as you're making your cores, and, and if you want to use a chest, great, fill up 26 slots with sticks. It's the exact same thing as using a greedy block essentially for storage. Or you can use the fluffy machines, barrels, one of them you can adjust the total that you store in here. You could drop it to 64 to have the same effect. You could take it even slightly lower, which would balance it out even faster and potentially increase production speed in the short term. Long term, it'd be about as balanced as having 64 in a storage but it can get you at least your first core a little bit faster. And then each of the sequent one, again, just a tiny bit faster. So that's my tip for you guys today is when you're making Supreme cores, use the smallest storage unit you can to store your Supremes. That way production balances out and you get your cores within a reasonable time frame versus having to wait forever and ever for something to fill up to 4,096 in this case. Make your life much, much easier. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate these tips. And if you have other tips or tricks you'd like to see me cover that I haven't yet on the channel, please leave a comment below. But don't forget, when you're playing Slime Fun, you've got to go Boomer or you got to go home. We'll see you later.